Hello, hello. So a couple days ago, I was on the, I wasn't on the AMA, right? I was just wa listening to it, watching it rather. Anyway, uh, um, they had these. It's a uh, stand the sandstorm. That's the guy guy's podcast or uh, sorry YouTube channel. Anyway, um, the people that started Chi He Ro Inu were on there talking about it. So that's the sandstorm, and that's his colleague Jeremy. And uh, anyway, this is um, the dev person from Chi Ru Inu. Anyway, so Chi Ru Inu. It's got like 10 zeros, basically, right? And 24-hour volume is like 50 grand, $50,000. Close this a little bit here. Yeah, um, looks promising a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, it started off, and then it kind of went down. But, you know, it's got a bunch of zeros, right? So what do you expect? Uh, first of all, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. I will say that. So their website's pretty nice looking, although they don't have like the team who they are. That's something let be left to desired. They, you know, like you don't know who they are, right? Essentially the team members. So that'd be nice to know. Uh, graphics are really good. Look really clean. Very, I like the, the angle, how they're portraying it. It's very nice, very clean. Their Twitter, you got about 11,000 and so followers on Twitter. Uh, yep, good. Their token sniffer. Now here's the token sniffer. So this is for so the, the unique thing about this one is they're on both they're on three exchanges, right? They're on Ethereum. Um sorry, blockchains. Sorry, blockchains. Uh, Ethereum, Polygon, and BNB Binance. So that's a good it's a good thing. That's uh that's a great thing. So we're token sniffing against the Ethereum one. And let's take a look at it. So what I see here is 10% good. I see that. No prior tokens. I expect that. Maybe this is the first one. Ownership renounced. So let's view the owner. Uh, liquidity. I, I just think they're going to go version 2. With a bunch of zeros like that, they're going to have to go version 2. And then this is a little suspect here. Owner created wall contains less than... 5% liquidity, 7%. So so this is the owner, right? Owner wallet here. So this is the owner's, right? 22 alpha 5. So if we look at the owner's wallet here, so the info, contract, sorry, of the actual ether scan of it. So we scroll down a little bit and we see, I'm just looking at the owner, right? Yeah, 22 alpha 5. Okay, yeah, they didn't renounce yet. So look at the holders here. So dead wallet, good. Um, that's fine. Exchange, I get it. Yeah, that's fine. It looks okay. Um, you know, of course, logos. That's because they they don't control that. Obviously, probably I've, as I've talked before, I found out like a lot of these companies, a lot of these exchanges don't have say so on when the EtherScan puts their logo up and all that stuff, social profiles. So I get it. I'll say that. You're not. Definitely they got a good version too. They're going to have a headway. Because. Okay. As I've talked before. There's no way in the world. The government's going to let somebody get. 10 zeros. And go to a, even a penny from here. That person would be like a. Multi multi trillionaire. They're not going to let it happen. Period. Plain and simple. Full stop. So their best bet is to go version two and to eat probably say this many zeros, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're probably gonna eat nine zeros. Gonna have to before they go to you know, before it's pretty considered like a legit cryptocurrency, basically. That's my take on it. So that's my my two cents, but uh I won't be buying it only because I want to see it grow a little bit. The reason I'm not going to buy it, let's say, right, let's say, right, I buy it. This is this is my thinking anyway, right? Let's say I buy it. They go to version two. I've spent money already. Now I'm going to buy it. If I do buy it, I'll buy it on Binance, right? Because if I buy it on Ethereum, uh, when it goes to version two, I have to convert. I have to pay again to convert it to version two from B1. You know, and of course, B and B is a little easier. So, 
that won't take as much money to do that. You're probably looking at, I'm probably looking at like $30, let's say, right, to convert it if I go to version two, if it doesn't. Whereas Binance would be like $4 max, something like that. So that's the difference for me. That's why I, and I'm going to wait, right? And I mean, if they have something awesome, some awesome technology on their website that's like game changing, right? I know they see Metaverse VR, right? But if they come out with something like spectacular, then yeah, okay, I'll talk about it. No, I'll, I'll reconsider my, me, right? But that's just me. That's my opinion, right? So for me. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next one.